hi guys welcome back this is continuation video of learning the blocking in this video i will practically show you the demonstration how blocking can be happen so to understand the blocking i will create some demo table the only we require only one table with one column i'm creating a table called as uh, blocking demo int ID right and uh, insert some data in it blocking insert into blocking select one right now what I'm going to do I'm starting okay let's leave it let's move to another tab now you know whenever i open a new query that time every session get created if i carefully observe here there is a session id 59 for this particular query window and for this 54 for this 58 so how many uh, number of window i will open and those many session will get created in sql server so what I'm going to do, I'm starting one transaction. This is my session one and insert I need insert into block demo transaction begin transaction select value equal to two. Now this is my session two so here i'm again writing the same statement let's say i just want to select some data I'm just trying to keep the shared log select start from i'm just re keeping ready scripts now this is my session to gray session three basically yes okay now let's go back to the session one now i'm starting transaction here and inserting the one data in it now what i have done i have just inserted a single record in it but this is but this transaction i have not committed all the way back now i am moving to my session 2 here i am running the query this is my session 2 now i am moving to session 3 and here i am again running the query so what i have been trying to understand when my session 2 will try to access the data from the blocking demo but already there is a something some log on that table right if it is insert it means there is an exclusive log now this is trying to play the shared log this is trying to place the shared log but already there is an exclusive log so conflicting is happen okay now i can see the query is not completed for the session three query is not completed for the session two and i can see here this has been completed but the transaction has not been completed right. so i am again opening the new tab this is one now i am trying to troubleshoot it and first of all i should know that there is something wrong happening in the system so i will just run sphoot to command and there are a lot of ways i will show you so when i will run this one i only need to focus on the block by column so when i will go down go down go down i can see there are two column which has some data in it right so i'm trying to see what is the session id is 61 for my third user 61 is blocked by the 60 and then i go to the 60 again 60 is blocked by 59 when i go to the 59 session id i can see this is not blocked by but this is in a sleeping state so 59 is a sleeping state 59 is not blocked but 60 is blocked because of 59 and 61 is blocked by 60 now let's try to understand more in detail let's let, let's take these are the three different session ids okay now let's try to run it this one with sp log and try to understand the locking mechanism when i execute procedure sp log with the uh, session id which has not been blocked where i can see here there is rid rid lock right and which is exclusive log 